Hi everyone, welcome back from our live interview session. Uh, I'm Jomi Dan, Student Survey Assistant at Study Broad Information Center. Uh, we have been presenting live interview session uh, for the benefits of having information about online learning and our experiences in new normal life. Uh, today, uh, we are going to interview, let's say, students uh, who is currently studying at the Singapore campus. Uh, besides, we will share her experiences about how to prepare the portfolio, uh, fly to Singapore in time during COVID-19 pandemic and other experiences about online learning. So uh, please stay tuned. Hello, sister. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Uh, nice to meet you. And thank you for joining our live interview session. Oh, thank you for having me here as well. Okay. Uh, may I request you to introduce yourself to our audience? Oh, yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Suleyana, and currently I'm a level one student from Diploma in Creative Direction for Fashion at LASO. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, shall we start our live session now? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, at first, uh, please tell us uh, why did you choose LASO's College of the Art? Uh, okay, so firstly, LaSalle is an art college that specifically offers art-related programs. So they have fashion, design communication, animation, music, arts, fine arts, acting, you name it, they have it. And also, they offer a course that I was looking for. And secondly, while I was in secondary school, like I had a chance to visit Magnelli campus. So when I saw the building, the building is itself was so artistic and the students that were studying there had this kind of like individual personality that were shining out of them. And so I thought that it'll be really great for me to start my college life there as well. And lastly, LASA offer this kind of uh, tuition grant scheme is kind of a scholarship program uh, that helped reduce your tuition fees by more than half and also uh, so Considering all the factors that I mentioned above, I was so determined to get into this school. Okay, uh, thank you. And uh, to apply the lessons, uh, College of the Art uh, portfolio preparation is played in the main role. So uh, please do share us about your portfolio preparation and uh, what will be the challenges for you? Uh, so yes, just like you mentioned, like uh, since LASL is an art college, uh, so apart from my IGCSE and IELTS results, Portfolio was everything that the school was looking for. So right after my GC exams, I started preparing for my portfolio and it took me around like four months to finalize it. Uh, and I was applying for Diploma in Creative Direction for Fashion. So I included a lot of visual arts that I am interested in. So I included fashion sketches, fashion illustrations, a lot of collages and even acrylic paintings. Uh, so as for the challenge, uh, the only challenge that I faced during this was that the idea of this uh, application was that, that really depends on what you put into your portfolio. So it really stressed me out at that time because, you know, it's like I had to express my emotion and to show the school my potential in just 10 images. And it's not easy to show your best in just 10 artworks. So it really stressed me out. But other than that, the process of submitting the portfolio went really well with the help of Study Abroad Education Center. Okay, it's great. And thank you for sharing your experiences. Uh, besides, uh, it was during COVID-19 pandemic uh, when you went to the Singapore campus. Uh, I think uh, it, it was really difficult for you, right? Yeah, it was. It yeah. Was. Uh, so, uh, can you tell our audience the experience or uh, how to try and get using Singapore campus? I can Singapore. Oh, okay. So when we were trying to enter Singapore, like to to get to college on time, yeah, everyone around the world was still trying to adjust to this new normal and. Like for students that were going abroad for studying, like we were so clueless of what to do and where to start so that we can go to college. Uh, but at that time, the school emailed at about uh, with the clear instructions of what to do and which extra procedures that we will need to take to get to the college. Mm -hmm. And I was really thankful for that. I still am. And also study abroad center contact as 
like now and then uh, to explain to us about what we will need to do. And also, uh, the most difficult time for me at that moment was like the procedure of getting a flight approval that aligned with our MOE approval, approval date. And I remember that we call the airline every day, like every single day in the morning, in the evening. And like we talk a lot with Matt Sander from Study Broad Center and also a lot with the school representative from Lassell. And I remember that the four of, uh, the four of us that were going to study together at Lassell, like we encouraged each other a lot during that time because we can sympathize each other really well since we were going through this, uh, this together. So I remember about that a lot. And also like when we, and we got here, finally we got here on August 24th, I remember. Yeah. And at that time, I wasn't really like worrying about quarantine a lot because I was too focused on getting on a plane to get here. Mm. But when I got to the hotel room, I, I was sitting down on the bed and I was like, oh wow, like now I'm really here. Like, I'm yeah. going to college here. And then at the time I'm like, oh, that means I'm gonna be spending 14 days in this room. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was a bit like, mm, what to do? But actually that, that kind of thought went away really quickly because like the quarantine experience was something that is really like, that's great for me, Yeah, yeah. it was great. I mean, the funny part was that in, the, in that quarantine time, the, the thing that I was looking for, I mean, like looking forward to the most was the meals, like they were really great. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was one of the funny part about that. Okay, uh, thank you. And I think uh, it's, a, it's a big challenge for you and also your group, yeah. Yeah, okay. it was. Yeah, uh, but, and, uh, yeah. the next question would be about the major you study now. Mm -hmm. So uh, please share with us uh, why you chose the Diploma in Creative Direction profession. Uh, okay, so this story has to go back a little bit backward. So while mm -hmm. I was in middle school, like I've been telling my parents like I wanted to become a fashion designer since then. And mm -hmm. it kept going on. And then in secondary three, I remember that they asked me if it was something that I really wanted. And I answered them, yes, it is what I wanted. It is what I want. So in that year, my parents and I discussed a lot about my future, about what am I gonna do after high school. So we discussed about it a lot. And then both of my parents and I decided that it will be the best for me to yeah. enroll in an arts college and uh, to apply for the fashion related major. Since yeah. I'm really passionate about this being becoming a fashion designer. And also I believe that it will be the best for me to learn from people that are in this fashion industry and also interact with a lot of people that has the same goal as me. Yeah. Uh, so after that, I started looking for fashion courses in Singapore and I came across multiple of them, but then I decided to choose this diploma in creative direction for fashion, since I believe that this course offers skills and classes that I will need yeah. uh, when I want to have a career in fashion. Okay, yeah, that's the reason. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for your sharing uh, your experience. Okay, uh, let our experience know uh, how the lectures from Lesser College of the Art in this new normal life and uh, as your major involve many the college arranged for this particular session during COVID-19 period. Uh, okay, so right now, uh, due to the pandemic, uh, Lassell is also adjusting to the new normal as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So for in instance, like students in each courses are divided into these small groups. And then one group would go to the campus uh, each week, and then the other two will join via Zoom. And then uh, this will rotate. And also like submitting the assignments became like heavily online based. Uh, but also for to turn in our assignments, like just like you mentioned, the physical ones, like creative process journals and things, then we will need to go to school to submit them. And also the lecturers uh, make these kind of like consultation for us, for each individual in 
different time slots. So that is also easier for us. And I think I'm lucky that I can experience college life on campus and also know, know more about the online learning as well. Yeah, okay, uh, thank you. And uh, it's good for you uh, to be safe from the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, what do you hope to achieve uh, during your study abroad experience? Uh, uh, okay, uh, so as for my personal de development, the only thing that I'm like kind of struggling and trying to improve right now is that yeah. to, is about my time management. Like we have mm -hmm. got assignments to finish and then there's this like some personal stuff to do. So like it's really yeah. hard to balance out these things and I really want to balance them. Like I wish I could master them. And also uh, career wise, I hope to learn and explore as much as I can about this fashion industry and also to have a strong opinion and to be able to communicate with people with positive mindset. I think it's really important to have this positive mindset and uh, ability to communicate really well in this kind of industry. I mean, not in this kind of industry only, but with everyone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now uh, we have already talked about the experience of uh, preparation and how about the study. Now, uh, what do you want to be uh, when you have graduated? Uh, okay, so I have this whole plan of like what I want to be, what I will do to be. Uh, so after graduating, I think I'll first work under a fashion label. I want to explore the fashion industry as much as possible, just, I, uh, just like I said. And also like, but my ultimate goal is to create collections uh, that focus on making everyday wear timeless. And also I think I would love to see people wearing the clothes that I design and I can't wait for that to happen. Okay, uh, it's great. You, you can do the best, yeah. Thank you, I will do my best. Uh, let's all, uh, yeah, let's all please advise to the student, not only at the psychology area, but also overseas. Uh, okay, uh, so for students who are preparing or who are interested in studying overseas, uh, I think the most important thing is to be responsible for your own actions, especially mm -hmm. since you will be out here all alone. Uh, so you have to take care of yourself. And another point is that it's not easy to balance your personal life and your college life here. So take care of your health physically and mentally. It is the most, the most important thing is to be physically healthy and to have a positive mind. And with that, I think uh, you can go through most of the things. And also for students who are interested in studying at LASL, I highly encourage you to check out the courses they offer in the school's official website and also uh, contact the study abroad center to know more about preparing the portfolio and also about how to get an MOE grant. And also I can't wait to see you all here soon at LASL uh, for the students who want to study at LASL. And meanwhile, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and thank you for tuning in today. Okay, uh, thank you so much. And also uh, for joining our live in Thank you. Okay. Thank you for having me as well. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, uh, now, as you know, uh, how the students go preparation to apply to the psychology RDS. And uh, if you want to know more detailed information, especially uh, this end day for 2021, uh, please do contact your during office hour, we open. 9 to 5 p.m. And then to the live session, uh, we will save some strong uh, during this pandemic. See you next live session. Uh, thank you and stay in touch and see you on the next Saturday. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye.